Your grace, by the will of God, we present these candidates uh, to you for public consecration to the sacred office of jurisdictional and auxiliary bishops in the Church of God in Christ. As the candidates are approaching the altar area and preparing for this time of consecration, the Church of God in Christ has expressed confidence in you, in your character and your devotion to Jesus Christ and your devotion to the Church, and in your ability to direct affairs and promote the general interests of the entire Church in that she has signally honored you by selecting you to this high office. The Apostle Paul warns that a bishop must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are on the outside, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. So the General Assembly of the Church of God in Christ has assigned you as bishop the following duties to uphold, obey, and defend the word of God, to obey and defend the constitution of the Church of God in Christ, to function as the administrative head of the ecclesiastical jurisdiction to which you are assigned, to seek out and discover in cooperation with your district superintendent and congregations a suitable pastor for each congregation under your care, to encourage minister improvement and leadership, training by planning pastors' study groups, in-service training, ministerial retreats, supporting the Charles Harrison Mason system of Bible colleges, to inspire the pastors to spiritual growth and personal improvement, for more effective witnessing for Christ and for his kingdom, to encourage visitation among the pastors in the homes, hospitals, and penal institutions, to simulate by your life example, as well as by your teaching, the outlook and vision of your people, and to inspire them to holy living more dedication to the total program of the church. To submit yourself and your superior, to your superiors in the church with all prayerful humility by your example, by your teaching those under your charge to do the same. To seek out communities in your jurisdiction into which a Christian witness might be effective. And so inasmuch as the Holy Scriptures enjoin that no man be placed hastily in the supervision of the affairs of God's holy church, and in order that those here may know your mind and purpose concerning this sacred office, will you in the fear of God answer the questions that we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ? You will answer, I will. <clears throat> will you endeavor to live soberly, righteously, and godly as a bishop in the church so that you may be an example to all others in Christian living. You will answer, I will, by the help of God. Will you instruct those who come under your charge in the word of God to the edification of the whole church? You will answer, I will do so, the Lord being my helper. <clears throat> will you give diligence to faithfully perform all the duties assigned to you as a bishop of the Church of God in Christ, as directed by your superiors, you will answer, I will, by the help of God. Will you ever seek in true humility to deal justly and kindly with your brethren in the ministry and with all others over which you shall be placed as bishop? You will answer, I will do so, by the help and grace of God the Holy Spirit being my strength. Now the candidates will turn, please, and face the audience. And let me speak to all the people of the Lord here tonight. Saints of Christ, 
do you under God accept these men into this office? And may you give them your cooperation, your support, your prayers, as they seek to carry out the responsibilities of this office. And the entire audience will answer, we will do so. God being our helper. Clap your hands, everybody, and praise God. The audience may be seated. We will now prepare to vest these men of God. The basic piece of clothing is the cassock, the robe which is worn during the service. It is the symbol of an elder and a servant. The bishop is first and foremost a servant and one among his brethren and an elder. They're already wearing the cassock. The censure is a garment that is a symbol of Christ. It speaks of Christ's willingness to wash his brethren's feet, pursuant to the example of the Lord. He took a towel and put it around his waist and he washed their feet and he ministered under them. And then the rochette, this white linen garment is a symbol of the priesthood. Aaron's ephod is found in the book of Leviticus and is a reminder to the bishop that his role as a celebrant and worship leader is prominent in the local mandate of his office. The shamir, this garment is a symbol of the prophet. The bishop of the church becomes the, the Christ, the chief defender of faith and the preacher of the doctrine of the jurisdiction. This is one symbol that we see him set apart from the elders, for he alone wears this mantle of office, the shamir. And then the tippet, which I'll come and place upon his neck and the pectoral cross I'll place around his neck also will come now.
Secretary will now come, and he will read the though those on whom we're going to confer their bishop's certificates on this night. Thank God for these men of God who have faithfully been trained and prepared for this day. They moved to a higher office, and now we appoint them to that office with all the powers and authority that pertains to their office in Jesus' name, Bishop Lyles. Thank you, Bishop. As of this date, Sunday, November 10th, 
2019, these men are now officially bishops, have been consecrated bishop in the Church of God in Christ. As with all other bishops who have been consecrated in the Church of God in Christ, their effective date of being a bishop is the night in which they were consecrated when they actually received the certificate signed by the presiding bishop and the general board. Again, they become bishops the night or in the field when their certificates are signed by the presiding bishop and the general secretary and issued. So the date of consecration for these bishops will be Sunday, November the 10th, 2019. <laughs> Bishop Joel Forto Baladin Sr., Prelate, Philippines, Northern Jurisdiction. Bishop Chadwick Fionn Carlton, Prelate, South Korea Jurisdiction. <laughs> Bishop Kevin Algia Griffin, Prelate, Antigua, Barbuda Jurisdiction. Bishop Morris Overton Jenkins, Jr., Prelate, Peru, Jurisdiction. <laughs> Bishop Lester Earl Johnson, Prelate, Columbia, First Jurisdiction. Bishop Clyde David Jones, Jr., Prelate, Michigan, Southwest, Agape Jurisdiction. Bishop Gabriel Eugene McCurtis, Prelate, Chile Jurisdiction. Bishop Solomon Iobosa Omo Osagi II, Prelate Kenya Third Impact Jurisdiction. Bishop Glenn Rodney Plummer, Prelate Israel Jurisdiction. Bishop Edwin Maurice Walker, Prelate Illinois. Northern Jurisdiction. <laughs> Bishop Reginald Corey Witherspoon Sr., Prelate, Washington Northwest Jurisdiction. <laughs> Bishop Kendall Nehemiah Anderson, Auxiliary Bishop, Tennessee Headquarters Jurisdiction. Bishop James Henry Bowman Sr., Auxiliary Bishop, New York Central. Bishop Charles Henry Brewer III, Auxiliary Bishop, Connecticut First. Bishop Cesar Romero Cabanis, Auxiliary Bishop, New York Eastern First. Bishop Logan Nathan Dennis Chetty, Auxiliary Bishop, South Africa Third. Wow. 
Bishop Ma Myron David Epright, Auxiliary Bishop, Ohio, Iowa, I'm sorry, Iowa jurisdiction. Bishop Israel Colomo Forto, Auxiliary Bishop, Philippines, first ecclesiastical jurisdiction. Bishop Jerry Lynn Given, Sr., Auxiliary Bishop, Michigan Southwest, fifth. Bishop Philip Xavier Green, Sr., Auxiliary Bishop, Virginia, second. Bishop Napoleon Bill Harris, Sr., Auxiliary Bishop, Illinois, first. Bishop Robert Lee Harris, Auxiliary Bishop, Michigan, Northeast. Bishop Lewis Christopher Hazlett the first, Auxiliary Bishop Tennessee Central. Bishop Philip Robert Jackson, Auxiliary Bishop Michigan Southwest first. Bishop Keith Alvin Kershaw, Auxiliary Bishop, South Carolina. <laughs> Bishop Lonnie Bobby Lynch, Auxiliary Bishop, California, Southern Second. Bishop Ronald Alonzo Sewell, Sr., Auxiliary Bishop, Virginia, first. <laughs> Bishop Alex James Smith, Auxiliary Bishop, Arkansas, first. Bishop Tony William Terrain the First, Auxiliary Bishop, Maryland, Greater First Jurisdiction. Yeah, one more. The Bishop, the Bishop Alino Colomo. Forto Jr. was elevated from Auxiliary Bishop to Prelate. I believe he's in the house tonight. I did not overlook Bishop Linwood, Elijah Dillard, and the Bishop Aaron, Isaiah Milton, they were consecrated in the field and received their certificates in the field. God bless you.